Hey guys, you boy gamers in the house. I'm back again. So I'm talking about a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, talk about the weather still, you know, I hit Tampa Bay, my split the city between Tampa and Montreal. I'm talking about a lot, quick, okay? Now, a lot of people know that Tampa Bay is not a good sports market for baseball town. Unlike Chicago, has supports two baseball markets. It's the White Sox and the Cubs. The White Sox are pretty good attendance. They're there, but my white socks are there. You see the puppet for July. You can pick some beats tomorrow. Talk about the socks. Um, we talk about a lot of things on our top, okay? This is a game of show. So we're going to talk about a lot of things that I thought about for a long time. I've been in the chance to because I've been busy for a schedule. And I finally want to talk about it. It's simple. And here's the thing. All right. This is a bit of. Either you kind of want to talk about it now. So I'm going to go back to the timeline of the Sox fans, nations. White Sox fans kind of grew up in the city of Chicago. Everyone knows about the White Sox fans. Everyone knows I love the White Sox since I was a little baby. Yada, yada, yada. But what is Sox with Tampa Bay? I, I had a story about it. I, I read a story about it, so I'm going to tell you. If you don't want to come and talk about it, it's up to you, but this is an important topic I've been talking for a long time. And why I still sucks, the white sucks as well. The reason why I'm glad this time didn't happen. I'm glad the white sucks stay in Chicago and for a long time. And of course, what benefits the white sucks, what benefits the Bears, what benefits the Chicago College Baseball. What benefits of the Bulls and the Bulls? And until right now, okay. The White Sox is a such an energy was moved in the 1880s by the Bulls. All right. So yeah, the time period. When the Chicago White Sox moved out to Comiskey Park in 1980 to Tampa Bay, if they didn't put the law. The White Sox moved to Tampa Bay in the 80s. So that's just like the Sox moved to Tampa Bay. And Sox moved to Tampa Bay, you know, Either thing will happen. When Oakland City Park will be turned that down, a lot of sports fans in Chicago, let it, you know, Jerry Weinstein was the one with the Bulls, right? That Bulls team won that exist. Okay? Here what happens. Here what happens. Jerry Weinstein takes the Weinstein out. You see all those Chicago Bandits then? Chicago Weinstein fans. Who are Bulls fans? We hate Jerry Weinstein. And the Cubs with ownership hate him because because Jerry Beckstaff, the, the Weinstein fans back then, Jerry Weinstein would lose our fan base. Chicago. Weinstein's got Tampa Bay, Fisher, National Good Attendance. 1989, Cubs fans won the stadium. Saxon Home, Chicago City, Chicago City, a lot of money, right? Baseball would die on the south side. My grandfather, we're not, we're not going to go there because it's a Sox not anymore. A lot of Sox fans will not won't be co fans. Baseball Chicago, history of baseball history in Chicago, Sox in Chicago will hate basketball because Jay Lance owns the, the Bulls. And the Jay Lance will more back to Chicago in the back. He will move the Bulls to. Brooklyn. Why? Because he's a Brooklyn Knicks. So the Brooklyn Bulls will stay in Chicago. We'll move to Chicago. And what happened is the Brooklyn Bulls. Okay? Then move out. New State at least. Chicago says, Jerry says, I trust you in Chicago. The Brooklyn Bulls moves out. And of course, Rocky Woods come in. Now, Rocky Woods says, I know it's Chicago. I moved to Vegas. Bill Watts says, okay. So what happened is, I moved to Tampa Bay, right? Fans were pissed. They're mad. MJ says, wants to go to Brooklyn. J1 says, so let's go to uh, Brooklyn. I'm not popular anymore. J1 says, become the art model of Chicago. Chicago Tribune. Probably want to sell the Chicago Club because fans are not, uh, are not getting. 
the market they wanted, such a currency would sell the clubs to the markets. In the markets, I said, okay, I'm gonna move out. You want a new stadium? It, you cut the basement that didn't have probably what used to be in the mall. And the Bulls, well, this is a Jerry Weinstein fiasco, and Bill Watts says, I'm you're cheaping, you don't want hard. They said it to move on. So the Blackhawks moved to Las Vegas. Bulls and him moved to, to Brooklyn. All right? To Brooklyn, because that's where MJ wants to go. Jay wants to go to Brooklyn, that's his home city. He was in love Chicago. People got death to Chicago. You moved to a team. Is that got my delegates in Chicago? Now, the South Side fans are pissed. Right? The only need is the Bears. Okay, the Bears. And my cast is on hand for okay, one city team, right? The Cubs might move out. The Francis Bayer for just the Chicago Cubs. The Chicago Cubs want to get in the stadium. The Wicked says, okay, maybe. Not the wickets. Search owner from Vegas probably we bought the one of these things. That's the fight that we forget famous. I mean Wickenfield wasn't famous late in nineties. Early nineties until it is now. Wickenfield and Oak Whiskey Park was not the you were going to until Oak Whiskey came in. So a friend is owner will move out to Chicago Club because the market with the dimension of Chicago South Side fan base. Move out once I want to go to Say Vegas because it's where pay crew fans be. Chicago comes to Las Vegas comes. And the popular basement is going to die. And the chill popular is not going to die. It's going to die. So Chicago is a north. Bye bye, Sox. Watch is gone to Tampa Bay. Right? The Bulls are going to Brooklyn by 1990. 1991. Why? Won six times with MJ, won six and eight times with the Brooklyn Knicks. It's a Brooklyn Bruce now. The Hawks leave Chicago to their friends with them. They want to go to the Las Vegas Hawks. And Las Vegas Hawks, well, move out. So what happened to Tampa? Starts not doing well in Tampa Bay. Couple years, not doing good. Right? The Bears are here. Well, they're having fun. One team in town, the Empires are gone, the Cubs are gunnings, the Chicago Cubs are gone, the White Sox are gone. So base was in trouble. They, the Chicago Bears, have Empire, they can't have a new stadium. She says, no, the Bears said, I'm going to sell team. The Bears are still, kind of okay. What to pay them to buy the team? Before that, my cash was on 17. Walter Payton buys the Chicago Bears. Walter Payton saves the Bears. Walter Payton says, Walter Payton is a group of investors, and he, he wanted, I don't want Payton to try to buy the team, bring the team to St. Louis one time. He fell. And if you remember Walter Payton in the late 90s, to the early 80s, so early 80s, early 90s, trying to bring the franchise over to St. Louis investment. Walter Payton says the Bears for moving on. Walter says, being in the end, Walter Payton become the first African American black owner of the Chicago Bears. Walter Payton allows Chicago, so Walter says, I am buying the team, I'm buying the team, Chicago. Walter Payton buys the team. Walter Payton wants, okay, buy Chicago Bears. And Walter says to say Chicago. I'll build you a stadium. See, love Walter, right? Walter's picked is charming. He says, it's cool. It's able to love Walter. Walter is a hero, Chicago. And what happens? So, Chicago, why does that have this investments? Basement's good. They're stronger. Walter picked and builds the Bears Empire. One of the Walter gets to check his name against Walter and Matsui were investors, right? Walter had partners, right? Walter Payton has Dicka, Matsui, yeah, of course, Secretary, as well as Walter Payton's friends, right? 
the Bears want to put Jordan on there. Bears can use Stadium. Like, this is okay. I want to move it to Soldier Field. But what this is, I want to build two Stadium for two Chicago sports teams. Now, the White Sox on the hand, I'll show you. Right? The White Sox are not going to be strong. Right? They just going to go that way. All right? Because Tampa doesn't support baseball teams anymore. Should Walter Payton wants to explain the team in American League. Because Chicago sports fans are suffering. Sox are gone. Cubs are gone. Remember, the, the Cubs want to take over the market of Chicago. So, team two, Las Vegas. Cubs in Vegas, right? Now, Walter Payton kind of wants to tell the wants to buy the names. Why the paper is names the name lines of the Chicago Bulls? Well the Bulls is gone. The book just say was the art model of the time. Want to paint the white the names of the Chicago Cubs, Chicago White Sox there. The White Sox that you know, late nineties, becomes the race. Walter Payton wants to get to involve the baseball teams and sell it to the Chicago Mayor, so I wanted to pay the love to Chicago. Because this was came out in 1991. So what I want to do is just invest it. Of course, 1991 Bears gets better far. Why? Because what's been it's a jam deal. And of course, everybody moves out. The Cubs moves out. Because they want to stay on down, because if it was like chairs used to be, Oklahoma's Park, same way Oklahoma's Park is there, and we the feel there. What the patent decision, um, make investments. If you can be in there, she could want to get some more money, because the Bears she can affect his own team. And of course, the Bears keep the stadiums, right? So you can hope you can the investments later on. Jerry Pate is a cup fan, it's a pretty well, there's a couple kind of get into it. Daily, what the painting dailies, the mayor daily, what the painting by the names, the white sex names, the Cubs names, Hawk, the Hawks names, for what they what. And it's just going to struggle, the business goes down, and the BS can go down, and the Bulls are doing great, and just winning all those titles, right? This time, MJ is fought with Jay Weinstein. Remember, and Jones' first two titles, they're broken, right? 1993. After the three year one, what the NBA needs to Chicago a team again. What the Peter decided to invest in an NBA franchise. He decided to call it Chicago Basketball Books. So, what with the Bears Town? Okay. Well, I'm not a baseball fan. Why is the Spencer still better? There's a guy that my grandfather's been helping. Please be a saver. Daly gets elected, right? Which is Daly, Peyton. Yeah, of course, Barack Obama came out. Have the investment. Baseball strikes in community in 1993. Cartoon Fest retires, falls out, find out what the. It went stuff. So now who else? Cartoon Fest wants to come back, bring back the name of the White Sox the franchise. History, Cartoon Fest. Once we build the franchise, just like a couple years later, he goes to Carlton Fisk, he goes to Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks said, Carlton Richards and the Northsiders, once the name is back, Chicago Chim backs the, the banks, the Van Tentos, Carlton Fisk invested the money of Walter Payton and the Judea Club Alliance, called Chicago Sports Alliance, bringing back sports towns, sports teams. Comiskey Park, Old Comiskey Park was rebuilt. We really feel we modernized today. Cotton Fisk. They have expression death. Jay Weinstein is not happy. Of course, Tim Brick gets fake talents. Wants to move out. Because Tim Brick can afford a baseball town. No matter no, the race. So you, get the, you, you got this. All entire sports teams, you know. You get the new stadiums coming in, right? Jordan wants to move out. So MJ wants to move out. 
He retires it. He, he falls out. Angel wants to go retires. Plays baseball. He can't. So he becomes the owner. So MJ has it made. It is prime. One year later, the British strike came on the team. What? You know what happened in 94? Baseball's gonna die. Baseball dies. Stay in free agency. Teach free agency. Right? And it shows him taking the tanking stuff. Going down. And it falls. Taking over this whole stand issues. Right? Remember this. The Browns don't move to Cleveland. Right? The special teams are one of the 14s. Because Walter Peters was kind of having the power. Remember, Walter Peters has the power. St. Louis has one team. St. Louis, you got Baltimore, right? You the names, right? The Baltimore. Remember this. Walter Peters makes a deal. Remember, Walter Peters has power. Remember, Walter Peters has to the fall. So I'm the good player. So I'm going to control this. So. Walter Peters. We'll get this part of NFL. Also, you can get the uh, MLB stuff. Because a lot of people, remember this, a lot of people is a leader, the most powerful man. I don't want them sports to swallow the time. What the Payton will get more into get the, the any banks, the, the Ryan Kettles, where I guess you call it sports and that. Baseball strikes, it goes down. We want to go baseball and fancy more. What the Payton says, one but Chicago offers solution. Bring two sports teams to sh- sh- Chicago. Southside fans, the hurt folk, broken. Of course, including the Northsiders, because the Cubs can get an empire. Daily in the water says we're going to Chicago teams, but one investment. Or in the banks, we want the Chicago Cubs, Juan Santos. Right, Carter Fisk won the White Sox, of course. The White Sox could get the stop players. We got an expansion draft, right? Baseball comes back. He says, Chicago Sports can come back in. We got the Frank Timers, Robert Ritos, Carter Fisk, let me take away everything else. Of course, Robert, shh, the Tampa Bay White Sox at the time was dying. They couldn't succeed. The brand's not too good. Jay wants to sell the Tampa Bay White Sox away because the sense not too good. Perky Kim's it. Web Smart. Colin Fair says, remember Colin Fair was a perfect little time. So it's bringing the sports to Chicago. The White Sox came back to whole city Chicago. Remember, Tampa can't afford the Sox anymore, okay? There's investments on the south side. Investment on the other side. The only shift the wickets can do well. There's no worse set of ones. Cuffs is gone, right? So there are any banks sent to go away, away from the other figures cut, sell to any banks, one center. She can expensive teams or not. MLB's dying. Payton in daily. Especially while the Payton has a lot of money more because the British investments. But the stadium names. Remember, what we did put his own stadium, he has own all the franchise. And MLB needs baseball. So Richard Daly says, okay. And the whole city joins Chicago sports teams. We're not better stadium until you get on a stadium. The White Sox will go back to Comiskey Park. The names, the history of the White Sox will go back, all the players might go back. To all Kubiski Park, Coles will go back to the field, then I turn it down. Because they can attack the team. They remodel all Kubiski Park. And the White Sox will come back to the south side. 1985, 1986, right? Yeah. So what happens all the whole time, hard, hard, hard turn, turn team? The White Sox will be happier when White Sox came back, came stronger than theirs. White Sox fans excited, probably young fans of there. Harold Baines come back and get new owners, right? Come back new owners, White Sox got new owners, Major League Baseball will be defensive against. 
But wait, baseball would be way worse. Chicago is sports. Sports. People said New York is a sports mecca in New York, right? Well, Chicago is a sports mecca of sports teams. Remember, this is Chicago. Do you like the market, right? And this is where we live, right? We live in this whole, we live in the city park. We live in the city. The city. Remember this. Do you like the market, Chicago? She would just sell the club somebody. Because they can't he can control the empire. West is a back, we turn, fist on the team, told Kumiski Park, we modern, we refurbish. The West history comes back. Now, a lot of Bears fans will be the size fans. They can do Kumiski Park, right? Carlton Fisk, my old Kuski Park in pictures. Left fans came back, and you five. Same could have team the Sox left them years ago, couldn't afford them, put a trade away. Well, I've been told we'd be gone, but let's check my dog. Frank Hyde, we could. What is this? Carlton Fisk, sign for Carlton Frank Thomas. Carlton, remember the new one, right? Fisk, Kettle, Ben Martins. Of course, they would, of course, Obama can get an investment in there for a while. But you get, you get paid to get invest in a little, little bit of stock. Then you get tickets investing in the You want to take a ticket left to win the bears organization. He got tickets to me wanted the bears a little the white stacks a little bit. You, you got this paint money. Baseball is gone, okay? Baseball strikes goes down. Carl Reckon get the strength, doesn't get the strength. Sox decided oh, the world has to be down. Turn the city of Chicago, right? Tampa Bay, White Sox. They can't afford the team. Hands way bad. Jay Ryan says being cheap. Vegas and not there anymore. The baseball strike, right? It's not there anymore, right? Every single sports team. The Hawks don't do well. The one that do well on sports teams. Because when they did the, the, the Chicago dirty, the broken rules are kind of dying. And we got this bench team, right? You got Johnny Red Kerr, who buys the bull, expansion team, buys the names. And Jordan says, showing the Chicago Jordans. The, it was the broken X. It's, a, it's called Jerry Weinstein was the force to sub team, right? To Chicago Jordans. There you go. So Chicago Jordans came ex- expansion team. Remember this. Anybody needs to destroy the sports teams. Jordan became the player. First, he already player and owner. Pippen comes in. Every single sports team will come in. January Kerr and Jordan became co owners. The Chicago Jordans. Wins three NBA, six NBA, four NBA championships title. Chicago gets actually five more. The book, the Jordan got one, eight more championships. Chicago Jordan, Jericho Bryan, Tracy McGrady. He got all these all good. Cause we turned. Chicago comes with one rebuilt, and the bank when we rebuilt. We're getting this mighty COVID town. You got Mr. White Sox. And he also also a kind of investment of players owning the teams. You got the one ship at the time. Fisk, by an investment chair, and then also all the White Sox legends are owning the Chicago White Sox. White Sox comes back home. Old Comiskey Park, the baseball pass of the world. The Vets invested back. MLB cannot sell the White Sox in an agreement called the Sox and Cubs cannot move on to Chicago forever because the Chicago White Sox the Chicago Cubs are their product. Kaminsky Park will be more old Kaminsky Park at the time period. And then we look at Kaminsky Park. Old Kaminsky Park will be the Kaminsky Park. Baseball players of all really feel the iron confines. Right? Remember this, they're trying to keep the stadium as quicker. Old Kaminsky Park. Where we got bigger. That fans come in, back in the Chicago things, you feel 
will be with my love towards her coming to me soon. The baseball pass to the White Sox. And the coach coming back. They were both got back to back All Stars. 1999, 2000, right? The White Sox also jetted a player named Paul Conecco. Right? Conecco comes in. You get the two on five White Sox again. The White Sox won the World Series, John Five. The Colts of the hand won the World Series last summer. Colts won the six World Series. Then the White Sox come back on the whole dynasty. The White Sox won the World Series a lot quicker. Of course, the Sox fans. And the Cubs were fans of each other. Dynasty comes in. White Stuff won the World Series in the of Chicago. Right? You need the Hawks can spare back. Couldn't Hawks on the get the NHL team be back to his father. He said, I'm going to get some expansion to the Hawks get expansion team. So, okay, what happens to Chicago Stadium? And uh, Chicago Stadium won't be there for a long time. All Comiskey Park in Chicago is going to be built as stadium for a long time. It's gonna be known as Chicago Landmarks. Also, the fields in the area, the long, long landmarks, really feel historical, really feel. Comiskey Park, right? Chicago Stadium with the Atlanta Chicago Landmark. Ch- Chicago Stadium will get renewed every single year. It's able to pay for it because it's not a city pay for it, it's the painting. Payton a daily conversion. It's called Payton for, for Nation Legends, right? So what the Payton a daily foundation? We built this model. What Payton gets stick? When we get cancer time, when Wild Payton was happier. He's on the team. He always has power. Chicago is the what Payton is the king of Chicago. So Walter has on alliances, right? On teams. Sports City Chicago, right? So what? Why is it City Chicago? Those five teams also have investments in the city. Chicago, one more to the one thing they came together. They were made into empire investments. The those teams are relieved. We know the owners. The city of Chicago owns five teams: the Bears, Bulls, the Hawks. Chicago Cubs, Chicago White Sox. Also in 1988, Chicago also want to get an investment team. They want to get the Chicago Fire, they will get a Mexican league, the big leagues. You get this, when I went to the Hawks, they want to stay in Cubs titles. It was a few years later, the Hawks are still in Chicago. Bulls in Chicago. That's the, so the Bulls, not the Bulls, the Jordans. One of my titles, I'm playing competing with titles this year. The Chicago Jordans. Because Angel is a team. Angel will be Chicago. And the Bears are here and won the Super Bowl in the 90s. Bears got all after in 2000, the linebacker. Of course, what? The Patriots family's there. I don't know whether it's still alive or not. And I have the greatest points of time ever. The White are back home. The Bears are coming back. So, yeah. That's what happens to Chicago sports teams. Basically, baseball would die in the baseball strike. It wasn't for for a while to beat it. So now let's go back to the end. The White Sox are a, Chicago is a two baseball sports town. Okay, it's not the Cubs. It's not the White Sox town. It's the two baseball teams. Yes, it's because of popular, but that's because that, that's in suburbs. City is the White Sox side. You know, it's not Sox on the South side. It's a pride in the South side. It's a pride in Northern Indiana, South Indiana. South is a pride of the city of Chicago. Part of where we came from. Chicago is a two sports city, two sports town city. The Bears are one team town. One. That's true. But then the White Sox and Bears 
Oh, we are. Chicago White Sox. The Chicago White Sox State. Chicago's is white. Chicago White Sox. Chicago Cubs. If you're a Cubs fan, you can stand. You're a Sox fan, you Chicago is a two sports city. Sox gonna leave without the Cubs. Cubs leave without the White Sox. You need a competition. Chicago is a good tournament. The Bulls, the Hawks, they're great in this. Now I'd be here if we talk about teams facing marketing. And it was struggling in 1985. I used to think the only one building is staying in this. It should be a team stand in Chicago. Alright. Teams should build teams on it. You know? They're good at for example, okay? The other Rams. But did you stay there on for that? No, uh, no, charge me over there. But I don't like charges moving out there. So teams move out, when move out, they're gone. But check out these pants. I like go if you heard it. That's a Chicago sports fantasies. So the Chicago sports fantasies for this. Uh, but it was a fair agency. It's a topic. And that's the lines back. Oh, you said it. It was like the late 90s, so like mid 90s. Let's check it out. Chicago franchise free agency. Now, that was happened in the mid 90s. Late 90s, mid 90s. So, what happened was, I'm, I'm putting a chicken link in the description box. Put a chicken history link in the post there. But, there was a talk about that. And, we talk about this. Sports and free agencies. They want a franchise to go out. The White Sox stay in the Bears stage because it's better. You know what I mean? Everything has time because the White Sox. Okay, better. So I think the White Sox in Chicago was the best thing happened to the team. 88. Why? Well, because they went now. Old Comiskey Park is pushed. I left the new Comiskey Park. The Star Trek comes in. For the, for the, for the, for the 90s, grew up in the 90s, so 1 and 2. But I was a child of the 90s. You play the games, baseball is fun. The White Sox there and the Star Jump. Getting you brand of baseball. I have Frank Thomas's. I have materials, the Park and Echoes. They were my heroes. Honestly, again, they were all my heroes. I cherished, as again, as a player manager, Park and Echo, Mike Brady's, the Robin materials, the Frank Thomas's. Right? You all also remember that this fans won't be a slash was about. Every fan would come on, I don't know what was playing. I remember what Bobby and Tua played. Bo Jackson played. Like, this is a. You know what I mean? Conerco, Maglio, Jose Valentin, Carlos Lee. People want that. You know, I'm saying go to the compass. Tell me, Sam Sosas, Power K. Rhodes, and Moses are loose. The White Sox are part of we can you know? Now young kids today, they they're happy. Oh, Jose Bayo, Jolito is back. Lucas Julieto, Hopak, Eloy. Thanks to today of it's a sports time, okay? So, uh, the White Sox fans today are better of those when it was not late nineties. 2000s and fans telling you talk about oh either Jimenez came in or Bayview, Sale, Katana, you know. Lot of fans today will ruin the stars for that. My can to be there and so I watch these fans will follow the new generations come in, which I'm excited. And the co-fans can have Chris Bryan, Whistler, and, and, and what else? 
You got Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo. It's the cousin had this. I like this. Right? The Hawks got Patrick Kane. Uh, the days I don't know the Hawks much. But one thing, they got the, the Bears. The, the, the Bulls, well, this thing. All right, this place. Bulls don't have the big names. It's embarrassing. So I feel sorry about Bulls. Chicago Bulls fans, I feel sorry for you. The Bears fans, oh. New York community. You got the Trubiskis, you, you got the Max, you got Clear Max, Trubiskis. I go as a kid. You got all that, the Briggs, the Hamsters, right? The Western the fans, Bears have fans. New today, have Trent Cohen. You got Kai Fuller, Khalid Mack. You got to start playing the Bears fans' hands. And this is part, part of our sports today. Chicago sports fans are the most diehard fans. Chicago sports fans. Chicago is the sports mecca of the world. Chicago is the greatest sports city in the world. Alright? New York is uh, the celebrities, the big, the big shots. It's the Yankees. This, right? LA has uh, the Hollywood, the pretty boys, the pretty girls, had babes. Chicago is sports town. Do nothing. We're in the middle of the city. We love the Chicago city. We love professional wrestling. We love the wrestling town community. We love the White Sox. We love, we love the Bulls. Whatever. And it's in Chicago sport. It's part of it. It's part of life. Awesome. We talk about the Sox all day. We talk about the girls there. It's baseball sports talk 24 7. Chicago is the greatest market of, of baseball. Football, basketball, NFL. It's ready for general to, to Chicago back to back jazz. Because Chicago is a great sports city. Chicago is a great sports city, city the whole wide world. It's not, it's not like Texas, where well, Texas has the Texas is a football state. Or Florida. Or let's see, no, sh- Chicago is the greatest of five sports. Of all five sports, the basketball, you get the baseball, you get the hockey sticks. Hockey's come from Canada. Chicago, it's like a five market. People pay a phone on phone lines. Chicago is living five sports. And that's why the people are excited about it. You know, it's NFL's capital of the world. It's in beast cover the world. NFL has embraced Chicago. What can NBA embrace the sh- Chicago? When the NBA was the highest, when the Chicago Bulls dominated the NBA, all right? Because it was the Chicago sports fans. And what beast you know I think. Why is there some big, why is there some clubs? If there's two teams with fancy each in the World Series, the Rangers will go off the roof. People love a great sports town. Chicago is a great sports town. There is the Sox, Bears, Bulls, Hawks. Bears, Hawks. The Fantastic Five. I'm calling it Fantastic Five. Bears, Bulls, Bears, Hawks, Chicago, White Sox, the Cubs. The, the Fantastic Five, Chicago. And such move out of town is the dimming effects. Southside, we love the White Sox, it's a baseball city. The White Sox and the Cubs are like the Auburn and Alabama. Alright? This games was the Sox versus the Cubs games are bigger than ever. Probably talk about more about the Sox and Cubs might be more. It's like Alabama versus Albert. Alright? Those Sox fans, the Cubs fans, live there. It was still time. It's a big ride in Chicago. What point talking about it more? But it's a bigger. The sports maker of the world. And that's it. So here you like it. That's my thoughts. And if you don't, 
Yeah, please like, sub, so, follow me on Twitter, Branch19.